So while I'm waiting for those to cool off, I'm gonna start our coleslaw. And I'm gonna start by taking two packets of ramen noodles, and I'm gonna take the rolling pin and I'm just gonna crush them up. And you can see how easy that was. Those things are tough and hard, but they break very easily. So we're gonna move down here now, and I'm gonna take about three-fourths of a stick of butter. And I'm gonna melt this in our saucepan. All right, so let's toss in our ramen noodles. This is the, the food that has kept many college kids alive because you can buy them for like four or five a dollar at the grocery store. I know a lot of the students that work at the restaurants, you know, they're on tight budgets. They're trying to pay their way through school. So they really watch their pennies closely. All right, now we're just gonna toss in about a fourth of a cup of slivered almonds. And I'm gonna keep a real close eye on this. I'm not gonna turn my back to it because I don't wanna burn them. All right, they're ready. They're a nice golden brown. But I'm gonna take them out of that frying pan because they'll continue to cook and I don't want them to, to get over brown, so. I'm just going to dump this right here and let it sit here while we get everything else ready because we're going to mix together the sauce that's going to be poured over our broccoli. And I'm going to start with three-fourths a cup of canola oil and a fourth of a cup of apple cider vinegar. Now this recipe was sent in to me by a couple of girls. Their name is Linda and Christine and they watched the show together. And they sent me a note telling me how much they love my corn casserole. And they wanted to share a recipe with me that they do all the time and they've had a real good response to. Now, and it's a broccoli coleslaw, but they've given it a couple of twists. They use the apple cider vinegar and rather than white sugar, they use brown sugar. So to our oil and vinegar, we're gonna add one fourth of a cup of packed brown sugar. And you know how the ramen noodles come with a little seasoning pack? Well, we're gonna use only one oriental seasoning pack. And in that goes with our liquid. And we're just gonna mix that up and let those flavors marry just for a minute. I love what the brown sugar does to this recipe. It's just a little bit more interesting than like a white sugar. All right, now I'm gonna use two packs of broccoli slaw. I'm gonna use two of these bags because my family's gonna dig into this. Plus, if I've got any left over, it just keeps getting better and better. So it'll be fine tomorrow is an afternoon snack or bedtime snack, although I have to tell you for a bedtime snack, I've really got a weakness for ice cream. But maybe I can switch it to broccoli. All right, I'm just gonna pour the marinade over that. I'm gonna toss in our noodles that have cooled off. They're nice and crispy. And then we're gonna toss in some of Lady Bird's very favorites, sunflower seeds. She just loves these little seeds and so do I. So I'm just gonna toss those in. So this salad is gonna have a nice crunch to it. And I just love crunchy stuff. You can make this early in the day and have it ready in the refrigerator. I'm gonna just use my hands, y'all, to toss that. All right, so I'm just gonna pile this up in our serving bowl. Now I'm gonna top our salad with some green onion tops that are gonna give it a nice added flavor. And look how simple that is using the convenience products that we can get from the grocery store. And this is ready to go into the refrigerator, but before I do that, I'm gonna have to sneak a bite but I have a feeling this is gonna be one of those dishes 
that gets just better and better as it sits and that wonderful marinade just soaks into it. Mmm. This is really, really, really good. Thank you girls for sharing this recipe with me. If you got some more, send them my way, okay? Cause I'm always looking. Mm, I love it.